Um, this is not a vlog. This is not a normal video. This is not something I want to film right now or upload or have anything to do with. Um, but we just got back from Big Bear um, to a couple things. Uh, first of which, we had a stack of packages at our front door. And uh, we didn't order those packages. So because of the way it was addressed and how our names are written on the Amazon packages, um, it leads me to believe that it might be from a viewer who sent us packages to our house. I'm not positive. I actually just reached out to Amazon on Twitter. Um, I DM them because they're normally helpful. So I want to figure out like where these packages came from. It's it's a it's a it's a bunch of packages that don't really make any sense of like the items and it's not anything creepy or weird but it's just like the nature of us getting the packages seems kind of weird um and as i was bringing the packages in from outside a grown ass woman drove up with her son asking if she knew if this was the street jenna marbles lived on um and so i I said to her, I said, you can't be here. I said, this is not okay. And she said, I don't know. All of these parents nowadays are taking their kids to these YouTubers houses. It's pretty crazy. And I said, yeah, you drove here. You were the crazy, like you were that. You were the problem here. I don't know why you're trying to act like you're on my team. I said, I think it's best if you leave. And she said, oh, well, we just parked because we're just gonna go for a walk. And I said, no, you didn't. Like you came to our house. So if you could please leave. That might be best. So she hops in her car and leaves with her poor fucking son. Who has a mom that would do something like that. Set that kind of example. I don't understand that. A grown person drives their kid to another person's house invading all of their privacy. And now I'm like sitting here waiting for my fucking dinner and I don't want to go out front. And if I were in here, Jenna would have been fucking nice enough to say hi and give the kid a picture, which is totally fucked up that she would even have to do something like that or even be put in that situation. Like, I'm glad I answered the door and I was out there and she wasn't. <sighs> please don't come to our house. Just please don't do it. There are so many other ways that you can connect with us that are appropriate and not, I don't know, wrong, uncomfortable, setting a terrible example for your kid. So to that kid who looked up our address and told his mom to drive us here, I think you might be a little too young to understand why that's not okay, but I do apologize on behalf of your mom for showing you how to invade someone else's privacy because your mom's job is to be the one setting the example of how not to do stuff like that. I figured I, I would just record this video right now because I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like sitting here, like sitting on all these packages, having that just happen. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So I wanted to keep you guys posted on why I tweeted what I tweeted which was, don't come to our house, don't come to our house, don't come to our house, because don't come to our house. Like, please just find another way to connect. And understand that, that if you're a parent, like, it is so, so important that you, like, don't reinforce that behavior. Because it's just unfair um, to make other people feel unsafe in their own house.